Hey, so as a family practice doc, we've all had to pronounce death, and that's where we make sure that the patient has, in fact, died. And I had to do this uh, at one time uh, with a hospice nurse. So she had called me. I was asleep, and she called me and said, you know, I have a 60-year-old female uh, that is breathing irregularly and much slower, and I think she's going to pass away pretty soon, and the family would uh, like you at her bedside to check her, check her over. So I went to the bedside, took out my stethoscope, started listening to her, and her breath sounds were definitely slower, irregular, and I could hear her heartbeat. And uh, she had her two sons there and her husband uh, at the head. And, um, you know, started listening and the breath sounds definitely became slower and slower. And the heartbeats became farther apart until it was one beat and took a long time for another beat. And then there was, there was nothing. And I just stood there and, uh, and waited. And it was just silence. And I looked up and I said to my two brothers and my father, mom passed away. And uh, that was my mom. She had died of breast cancer at the age of 60. Unfortunately, she passed away at our home. We had a hospice nurse. So very fortunate, I feel, being a physician and gotten to listen to my mother's last breath and her heart heartbeat. Uh, just kind of an amazing thing. I uh, still remember that. That's like 14 years ago. Uh, really cool being a physician. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Just, uh, boy, kind of feel very lucky and fortunate to do that. But uh, get your mammograms. It drives me crazy when people say, nah, I don't want to get it. It hurt the last time I got it. I think, oh my God. Just because a few few minutes of pain, you're not going to get a mammogram, really. You don't want to you don't want to catch a small little nodule or mass that could be taken out instead of waiting for it to get huge and incurable. So, think about it. Dr. Vinny signing out.